queens, it's Viv again, and welcome to a beginner's tips and tricks guide for Shiny Nikki. I've been playing on the English server of Shiny Nikki for about a month now, and during this time, I've been playing this game definitely way more than the average person, and also I've been whaling! I got to V11 on my first week, but as a new whale, I didn't really know what's good to spend on, so I've been active on several Shiny Nikki communities to try my best to learn about the game. So I would like to thank the Shiny Nikki official Discord, my guild members from Aurora, and just players in my DMs for being such helpful community members. I've learned so much about this game that I've peaked at, let me show ya right here, rank Five. If I head over to Journey, heck yeah, Eternal Legend rank five in the Diamond Arenas. I also ranked five as well in the total points ranking. It's all thanks to this amazing community for being so kind and willing to help. So today I'm gonna pass on what I've learned to you to share the wealth of knowledge. By the way, if you wanna learn more about any Nikki games like Love Nikki, Miracle Nikki, or Shiny Nikki, give this channel a subscribe. It'll help out a small time YouTuber tremendously. So let's get started at my first tip at number 10. We are going to be counting down from 10 to 1. Number 10, it is buy the 7 day stamina pack ASAP. Okay, so it's going to be over here. If you click on this plus icon at where your stamina is, over here. 7 a day stamina pack. I actually already bought it, but it only costs 300 diamonds. That is so easy to get on your day 1 of Shiny Nikki. On the first day, you will get 500 stamina, then 300 stamina daily for the next 6 days. It is so worth it. Just do it! Early game, you're going to need a lot of stamina. There are a lot of stuff to craft, and you'll need to farm the heck out of those materials. You will find that you'll run out of stamina very quickly, and this pack will help Help tremendously. I recommend you keep buying this pack until you hit level 40. Then you can relax. Level 40 is the special level because that's when the level cap raises for upgrading your designer reflections. And honestly, past level 40, I'm still buying this because I just don't feel like I have enough stamina each day. So yeah, this pack right here, buy it, super duper worth it. If you have a money on hand, this thousand stamina for a $2 pack is very, very worth it too, but it's completely not necessary. Um, I only bought this pack once. Pro tip number nine I have is only summon 10. I'm talking about any gacha in the game, such as the Gate of Heart or any event. Early game, you are going to get a lot of free fantasy tickets because the beginner events are very, very generous. I know it's tempting, but don't go dumping your tickets into this summon one thing. Well, let, let me move this. Yeah. Don't go dumping your tickets into this uh, summon one thing right here. It is so not worth it. Be sure to save up 10 fantasy tickets first before pulling. If you do the summon 10 right here, as you can see, it says guaranteed SSR times one or above. Uh, that means it's a guaranteed SSR or you are item or designer. But if you do the single pulls, oh, that's going to be tough because it's all dependent on the rate. So if you look at the drop rates on a gacha, I love how this game uh, shares the drop rates with you. If you click on this all item thing right here, it's going to show the drop rates right here, right? If you do like summon one, summon one, summon one, like the chances of you getting a UR designer reflection is 0.5%. This rate is garbage. Like it's, it's, I, it's not impossible to get a UR reflection out of summon one. It's definitely impossible, but 0.5% chance. That is so low. Might as well do the summon 10 and have that guaranteed one item to be the SSR or UR, you know? Number eight pro tip, go straight down on the makeup study. I'm talking about your guild here. Oh, first up, join a guild. So I ended up joining Aurora, the number one guild. When you're here, be sure to do the daily donations. Be sure to do your daily secret commissions and be sure to do your daily guild party. That's like a must do every single day. What I'm talking about here is a tip for the makeup study. In the beginning, you're only going to have April, but as you go on, you're going to unlock the second one, which is Zephyr Beauty, and you're going to unlock this third one, which is going to be Masquerade. So if you click into any of them, let's click into Zephyr's Beauty, for example. The trick for this one is you go straight down on these uh, 
branches or or whatever the I don't know what they're called. So yeah, as you can see, um, I am only taking the middle route and I am ignoring the side route. The reason for this is because your goal is to get these makeup right here. Like for this one, there's a SR Mountain Clouds uh, contacts thing, and I'm continuing to go straight down. And I got this SSR rosy cloud pupil and i'm still going to uh, continue straight down and uh stage makeup what's this so can i do this right now actually i can boom so i got here another makeup rogue tier just go straight down it's the easiest path to collect all of these makeup like if you do the side branches it's just going to take up more of these uh, guild coins and you know you don't want to waste it on that if you have bonus uh kill coins then you can do it but right now head down the middle route and aim for this makeup that should be your goal number seven we have designer intel hub 10 times a day do not forget this so what i'm talking about is if you go to your design center designer intel hub is number three so you only get 10 attempts per day so use all those 10 attempts very important so what have i unlocked here i finished uh, basically everything here and i have a chin yi and yi Xiao not finished at 80% and 86% because it is not required to. Uh, what I have left over is the echoes. That's only for if you want to recolor all these items, but that's not top priority for me right now. If you are a collector, absolutely go for it. But for my designer Intel Hub, I am using all 10 of my attempts to, well, first off, unlock Zoe because Zoe needs, I, I believe it was 113 or 118 of these uh, little mysterious uh, clues to unlock. And I unlock Zoe, and the reason I unlock Zoe first out of everything here is because this right now is one of the free it is the only free ssr reflection that's blue and also easy to get so yeah i recommend going for this zoe right here he is a top tier blue designer reflection and it's totally worth it to get for both free players and paying players so yeah, remember to use all 10 attempts of your designer intelligence hub. As you can see here, the investigation cost goes up to 25 stamina per investigation, which is so much. Just do it! It is so, so worth it. And then my next tip and number six is use all your mind maze attempts daily. So mind maze, what's that thing? I am talking about this thing. So over here we have a workshop and over here it says maze in this middle one. So yeah, we have these two suits unlocked right now and I finished both of them. And for the mind maze, it's going to be over here. like. For this one, it drops from Mind Maze to 9. Uh, Mind Maze is just like the... If you play Love Nikki, these would be called princess stages. Like here are your uh, main stages. There's like five chapters out right now and chapter six is coming soon. If you switch tab, it's going to be your Mind Maze. They are going to give you uh, free attempts each day do all those three attempts by the end of the day you should have zero out of 36 and you do want to use all those three attempts you don't want to be over capped on this because then you're just letting these free attempts go to waste and if you gem oh my gosh that's going to be 15 pink gem for one bonus attempt and the more you gem the more expensive it's going to get so yeah definitely take advantage of your daily free attempts at number five, it is use all your red stage attempts. So uh, red stage is similar to your mind maze attempts. You get uh, extra attempts each day day so what i'm talking about is over here so you want to go back to your main stages and let's use chapter five for example your red stage attempts are going to be the ones over here so you know your normal chapters it's like this normal color and if you scooch a little it's going to have some red stages right here and these are very very important and you want to end your day with zero out of 36 because if it goes over cap then you're 
going to have to gem. So it starts off at five gems, and then the more you gem, it's going to go up. Well, I have here at 15 gems after 10 attempts. Oi. So what are these red stages for? They're so important because they are going to help out your stylist academy. So what you want to do is boost up all of these as much as you can here so for example this dress top bottom all attributes i have plus 191 percent that's actually not that bad so it asks for this uh classic uh, designer item okay let me move this a little bit all right so it asks for this classic designer item and this is a challenge stage 5-1 which means it's going to come from these red stages right here yeah so i've been gemming to get this because i've been trying to increase my score for the stylist arena so yeah i do think it's worth it to gem here initially because it's only five diamonds and it is so cheap definitely do this unlock as many of these as you can oh by the way if you unlock up to designer if you unlock three designers so i have designers for my dress and my socks and my shoes because these are like the easiest to reach designer you unlock this uh, bottom one right here called legends of designer and oh my gosh this is going to be a lot harder to do so yeah definitely use up all your red stage attempts each day gem if you like to because initially five diamonds per extra attempt is really really cheap Pro tip number four, unlock stage four, then do team battles. I'm talking about team battles right here. So you go to start journey and switch over to this tab. And at the end of the day, you should have zero out of 15 attempts for all of clock workshop, never fall curtains, and concept voyage. So what I'm talking about is let's go into never fall curtains, for example. So um, this is the one that's opened uh, today, a uh, Wednesday, Saturday, a uh, Bloom Playhouse. Okay, so let's click into this, for example. For this one, there's Act 1, Act 2, Act 3, Act 4, and you need to clear the solo stage in order to do the team battles. Do that! Clear Act 4 in solo and then do the team battles. You don't need to have like super duper powerful clothing to reach a stage four. Let me actually show you my uh, Shiny Nikki V0 account. Here is my Chinese account. It's a V0 account. I've spent nothing here and I wanted to show you this V0 account instead of my main account because people are going to be like, oh yeah, Viv, of course it's easier for you because you're paid to win and you have all these UR designers. So uh, let me just show you this uh, V0. I've spent nada nothing not a single penny on this account and i was able to unlock act four and this is what i ended up wearing like all this mumbo jumbo right here and i have this uh, designer <laughs> i have zoe that's uh, helping boost me up and zoe it was uh, very easy to get just by doing designer intel so yeah very important unlock zoe zoe very good so yeah it's um very easy to unlock uh, act four just have a SSR designer carry you. Speaking of SSR designer, moving on to tip number three. A SSR or UR designer for each color. As you can see here, there are uh, five different uh, colors, like different styles for each day right here. So what I'm specifically talking about is your arc designer. So if you click on this arc button right here and if you click on your designer reflection if you click on like this yellow color one i have this uh, ur designer low one that i am throwing everything in and yeah i have hells too initially i was working on hells too but then i got low one later on so i started investing everything into low one and a green designer have one to work on here too so over here i'm working on uh, mercury and these are like my uh, backup ones and then over here, yeah, uh, Leonard is going to be your best pink color designer, even in late game. And then for my uh, sexy designer, I have a Lilith, of course, and I'm gonna focus on probably this one. Oh, Caprico! Yeah, I want to focus on Caprico in the future. And then for the blue designer, Zoe, Mercenary Queen! Yeah, this is my only SSR one, and she's probably going to be my only SSR one for the 
very long time. So for these designers, I would suggest working on a SSR one ideally and dumping everything into that because it's going to carry you a, a long way. Generally, it's always the SR ones being the weakest, the SSR ones being like the middle ones and the UR ones being the strongest. So if you have a UR, invest the heck into it. So yeah, as you can see here, all of my UR ones are super mega powerful and yeah, my SSR ones are okay and my SR ones I'm not even touching. But if you want to know if your designer is good or not, there's this amazing resource guide by my guild leader, Cami. I'm gonna link it in the description below if you wanna check that out. It basically shows all of the beginner reflection and which of them are top tier and which one should you just completely not bother with. Anyway, tip number two. My next tip is save your diamonds for events. So yeah, this is especially if you're a low spending or free player. Don't go wasting your diamonds on extra stage attempts, extra arena attempts, and especially not in the gacha. For extra stage attempts, you'll eventually get all of the farming done with time. Your attempts will reset the next day. Just have patience and do not bother with spending your diamonds in the gacha. You'll just end up getting dupes and disappointed. This game actually gives a ton of free fantasy tickets, so use those on the gacha instead of your diamonds. I guarantee you, you'll get a UR with those free fantasy tickets if you draw 10. If not, then you get a cool achievement called I blame Momo, I guess. <laughs> Just completing your dailies will give you a ton of free diamonds. If you have a real life money to spend, uh, both of the monthly cards are mega mega worth it and you can get a ton of diamonds there. Let me show you. So it's going to be under shop and these are monthly cards right here. Yeah, so $4.99 you get all of this stuff here and 56 diamonds per day. Boom! I just claimed it right here. And then $9.99 you get all of these stuff as you can see here. And also 106 diamonds per day for 30 days. Boom! So yeah, these, these two mega mega worth it give you a ton of diamonds amazing for the price. I highly recommend these if you are a spender. And finally, we move on to number one pro tip for Shiny Nikki. Do not spend your gold on the gacha. Oh my gosh, this is very, very important. So what I'm talking about is this uh, Gate of Heart right here over here. It's going to have a gold gacha, this thingy. Oh man, okay. So I've definitely made the mistake and I spent my gold here. It was not worth it. Early game, you will need a lot of gold, especially when you hit level 40, when you need to upgrade and rank up all of your designer reflections. You don't want to be stuck in a situation where you have all these materials available, but you don't have the gold available to upgrade your designers yeah so i've been there and i swear that's the most common mistake i see everywhere i feel like in most other games we play gold is easy to get but it's different in shiny nikki because you need gold for so many things like upgrading ranking up promoting concepts crafting required clothing basically everything needs gold besides events, I guess. Don't dump your gold in the gacha early game. It's not worth it to spend diamonds to get gold eater. So just save your gold. If you really want to pull in the gold gacha, you'll get a lot of tickets for it. So chillax there and wait till you get the mystery tickets for you to pull. All right, uh, that is all. If you have any other tips for beginner players, leave them in the comments below. Hope this video was helpful. I will see you again next time. Subscribe or I'll delete your Shiny Nikki account. Peace, peace.